Hey y'all, so I wanted to talk to y'all about the life and health insurance exam. So this is going to be my third time taking the exam, but this time through the advice of a friend, I'm going to separate my exams because I was trying to take the life and the health insurance exam together. It's different, okay? Um, I actually didn't even know I could separate the exams. That's the crazy thing. And that's what we do. Sometimes we put more on ourselves, you know, than is necessary. So I took the Georgia Department of Insurance exam and I wanted to share with y'all the concepts that are on. Okay. So types of life policies, life policy, <coughs> rider, I'm sorry, provision, options, and exclusions. Uh, the underwriting and delivering of the policy, taxes, retirement, and other insurance concepts, types of health policies, health policy clauses and riders, social insurance, other insurance concepts, field underwriting procedures, and I'm in Georgia, so Three parts of that, which I did very good, is Georgia law rules and regulations pertinent to life, accident, and sickness, Georgia rules and codes pertinent to life insurance only, and Georgia rules and codes pertinent to accident and sickness insurance. So one thing that you, for Georgia, you have to make a 70%, okay? Um... One thing I like to tell people is do not learn the terminology. So the problem is the average test taker, they want to learn the terminology because in the average test, it's the terms, right? Right. So what I did outside of using my online course, I also looked at videos and everybody was teaching terms. They were teaching terms, y'all. Another thing, do not overstudy. Don't study past two weeks. I, I did that. I studied months out of fear. I had a lot going on. I just published my first book. I was focused on my book, trying to do a life insurance exam. It didn't make sense. It did not. It did not make sense. So what I ended up having to do I ended up having to fail once with obliviously nothing relative on my mind, but what was going on the outside. And then the second time, I knew the terms, I knew the concepts, but there were three parts I missed, again, trying to overstudy. So when you listen to the average person, now these are the videos that I stand by. The videos where people are telling you, study two weeks, do a little quick cram cram course right before, those are the ones because everything is fresh in your head. But when you start overstudying, you're like really trying to embed in yourself the terms and you miss the concept. So some people say, don't learn insurance, learn the terms. Absolutely not. Learn insurance. Picture yourself doing it. One of the things that I say I'm going to do and one of the things that made me very comfortable on this time around I pictured myself actually being the insurance writer, writing the policy, delivering the policy, and I went through the steps. And another good thing, they give you time to go back and review. Take advantage of it. Do not not review, okay? Once you finish, review it. But I'm telling you, learn the concepts because they give nothing but scenarios. It's not no cut and dry uh, word and definition on these tests. It's not like that. If it was, all of us would pass big time because what's easier. So when people say they use flashcards, they using flashcards off of concepts. You're basically seeing yourself delivering the policy, filling out the application with the client, getting them to initial it. If anything's wrong, you know what I'm saying? You're going through that. So what you got to do when you do the test, you got to look at yourself like you're actually an agent. You're going to be an agent, right? 
So you got to look at yourself as an agent. You got to look at yourself as going to a potential client. What would happen if the potential client X, Y, and Z? What would happen if you're in the state of Georgia or the state of whatever? What is your commissioner rightfully able to do if they want to put you on suspension? What is your commissioner rightfully able to do? You want to know what is um, done, you know, how many days is a free look period? How many days is a grace period? How can you reinstate? If a person needs to reinstate their insurance after it lapse, how is that process done? The different types of policies, okay? Social security. I didn't see anything about annuities. I did see something. It was very brief. It was very brief. What is a lump sum? <clears throat> what policy, excuse me, accumulates quicker? What policy has cash value? What type of policy? What type of policy does not have cash value? You got to, when you study, study to actually do the job as soon as you get your license. Because really, this is just my opinion. When you do the test, you got to think like you're already an active insurance agent. You got to think actively like you're an insurance agent. What is this and what is that? If I get hired, what is this and what is that? If I go to another state and want to write policies, how long am I getting this license for? When is the time of cutoff? When am I going to have to reapply for the license? What's going to qualify me to write insurance in another state? What is it called when I write insurance in another state? Because the concepts are going to be there. It's not going to be A to B. It's not going to be like A, B, C, D, E and match it with the right answer. It's not that. It's all concepts, okay? So I hope this helped. But um, again, the biggest thing, don't do like I did. Do not study longer. Do not think the longer you study, the more you're going you're gonna to know. It's not going to happen. And don't overstudy. Don't do it for hours and hours and hours for those two weeks. You do a couple of hours every day and you get it. And even if you write it out and learn the type of writer that you learn, write, learner that you are. Some people are visual. Some people are where they can hear it. Some people got to write it out over and over again. Whatever works for you. I even heard another young man who passed it on the first time. He said, take it back to the school days. A lot of us are not good test takers. and Some of us are good test takers. But you got to think about it. When you were in school, what did you do? You learned it. You took the test. You got it over with. You didn't wait. Matter of fact, your teacher didn't even give you months to study. You got to think about that. You got months in school. So when you get something, they're giving you a week. They're going to tell you, okay, next week we're having a quiz or next week we're having a test. You got only a week. So if you're taking longer than two weeks, and this is something that I had to talk to myself about, why are you doing what you wouldn't do in school? Because right now you're in school. And then after school, you're going to have to learn the business. So basically the test is just teaching you the business of insurance. They're teaching you the terms, but you need to know the business. Because you got to be ready to go. Because once you start, what's going to happen? You're going to start writing policies. They're going to take you out there. The average business is going to take you in the field. And they're going to help you sign up. So you got to figure that out. So I think that was some good advice that I just gave myself just now. In school, they don't give you months. They give you a week. You do the lesson. You read in school. You read in class a couple of times. You take a couple of quiz and you got that test just like that. So you got to treat it just like that. I wish everybody luck. I hope that everybody get the experience of, you know, being an agent. I will be an agent. I claim that for this year. I will not stretch and draw out the process. They It's two weeks. So listen to this. First two times you fail, you got to wait two weeks. The third time, they're going to make you wait 30 days. So I'm praying <laughs> that I just get this done. Okay? The main thing is, remember, you can fail. It's okay to fail. It's okay. Now, the shirt says failure is not an option. Guess what? That has to be a decision you make. But will you die if you fail the test? No. What you do, you take what you've learned from that test that you fail and you combine it with what you're going to learn new. So when you get your test, you're going to get, it's going to show you where you scored good and where you scored nothing in. I got to see what I scored nothing in and what I need to concentrate more on. So, I just wish you luck. 
I'm going to take this test in a couple of days. And hopefully my report will be I passed it. And then I'll be able to mark my passion of why I chose life insurance. Honestly, I took the life and health course, but I'm more pr I'm more privy to the life insurance than the health insurance. I'm just going to keep it honest. So I was glad um, for my friend that told me, hey, just break it down. Take the test separate. Take the life and the health separate and go from there. All right? Okay. Have a great day. Be blessed.